Nations with all of the following present day capitals except Madrid, Brasilia, Lisbon. Signed in 1494, the Treaty of Tordesillas included nations with all the following present day capitals except Madrid, Brasilia, Lisbon. Let's see how you do. I'm not a history buff. I will say that I did AP, his, AP American history in high school. It was the hardest class that I've ever taken. Um, and I'm gonna say this live on the air. I borrowed a friend's binder who was a year ahead of me to help me out a little bit. So that's my level of history knowledge. But you guys are doing pretty well. You didn't need my help here. So right now we got 58% saying Brasilia. We've got Madrid and Lisbon pretty much tied right there. So let's see, did you need my help? You didn't, you didn't at all. The answer was Brasilia and yeah, you, you guys are definitely better at history than I am. So if you got that one right, give yourself, put in. Hello everyone. Can we believe it's November? I didn't mention it yesterday because I was in denial, but holy moly, we are in the 11th month of 2021. How did this happen? Do you still have New Year's resolutions to complete? I certainly do. I have to win an Oscar, get on the New York Times bestsellers list, fly to the moon, and make my bed. What? The last one's been on there since I was in grade school. It just hasn't happened for me yet. I really, really do want to make my bed, but it, it just seems so pointless. I'm just going to mess it up again in 10 hours. So like, why bother? And that's why it's remained on my resolutions list year after year. What are some of your resolutions? Throw them in the chat. I can probably guess one or two. How about make more money? Well, you know, you can do that by simply posting on display, right? A little passive income for you, yeah? Well, tune into the pre-show every weeknight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, right before trivia, to find out how. And I'm gonna guess, I'm just gonna guess that winning display trivia is another resolution. So here's how to do that. Be really smart, oh yeah, and answer all 10 questions correctly. And have a completed display profile, that's it. Do all that and you win a piece of that $500 jackpot. You dig? Cool, 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 because it's time for display trivia. Question one. The Muppet, Miss Piggy, is what type of animal? An owl, a snake, a pig. The Muppet, Miss Piggy, is what type of animal? An owl, a snake, a pig. Miss Piggy, <laughs> an icon when it comes to her species representation in film, we always knew that these critters were cute and cuddly and a little on the messy side, but who knew that they could be sexy? Yes, this diva's powers of seduction and her innate sensuality are always on display. Hey, she's a perfect lesson in if you got it, flaunt it. Yes, pig slay. Wait, no, oh my God, no, I shouldn't say that unless I want bacon. Is it bad? Is it bad that now I want bacon? Oh, come on, Sarah, that joke was tasteless. You know what's not tasteless? Bacon. Okay, as far as Muppets go, Miss Piggy is doing the most. But I hear easy does it? Question two. Complete the name of this popular paper and pencil game. Tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe. Which spelling is the correct one of this popular paper and pencil game, tic-tac-toe. Is it one, two, or three? Three in a row is how you win this game. Unfortunately, those rules do not apply to other popular amusements. In baseball, three strikes means you're out. And two's a party, but three? Well, that's a dang crowd. Also, not a lot of people remember this, but some people play in Monopoly that if you roll doubles three times, you go straight to jail. No pass and go, no collecting $200 Roonies, capiche? But you know what else they say about three? Third time's the charm. And if you picked toe, T-O-E, you're gonna wanna bring whatever good luck charms or smarts you're using into question three. 
Which type of music would you most closely associate with platform boots and bell bottoms? Jazz, disco, rockabilly. Which type of music would you most closely associate with platform boots and bell bottoms? Jazz, disco, rockabilly. And of course, just like everything else, these trends are coming back again in full swing. But swing? Like the style of music and dance? Not a lot of platform shoes there. You gotta have lightweight shoes for quick, nimble movements. You dig, daddy-o? That's what all the cool cats over at the sock hop were saying. Just a little lingo I picked up. Speaking of which, I'm glad saddle shoes and poodle skirts haven't come back into fashion. Nothing says, gee, mister, I sure would like an ice cream soda. Quite like that look. Hey, wait, actually, I'm changing my mind. I would like four ice cream sodas to go, please. Bell bottoms and platforms belong to disco. Now let's boogie, or should I boogie, into question four. The book series by Carolyn Keene features what title character? The boxcar children, Nancy Drew, Amelia Bedelia. The book series by Carolyn Keene features what title character? Characters. The boxcar children, Nancy Drew, Amelia Bedelia. Title character is definitely the top tier of what you can hope to accomplish as a character. Side character, I mean, that's okay. At least you have a name and aren't just tree number two. Even main character, that's good. I mean, you can, you affect the plot. You're in the driver's seat. But a title character? I mean, you are the star of your own universe, baby. You go, Glenn Coco. Glenn Coco is what we call a minor character. And that's not just a character who digs for coal. Minor character is one step above extra. And extras are the folks who hang in the background, which, hey, also an important part of the story. Truly, no small characters, unless you're watching A Bug's Life. Those ants are tiny. Keen's novels revolve around young sleuth Nancy Drew, and much like her, well, you all solved this one. Question five. Actress Carrie Fisher's mother starred in all of the following films except Singing in the Rain, Charlotte's Web, Annie Get Your Gun. Actress Carrie Fisher's mother starred in all of the following films except Singing in the Rain, Charlotte's Web, Annie Get Your Gun. Look, I'm sure Annie had a good reason to keep a firearm on her, but I'm more of a pacifist. I think we should do a remake called Annie Get Your Water Gun. And it's just a movie about a really epic water day where Annie takes down all the other kids with a jumbo super soaker, and then they all cheer and eat homemade popsicles. Sound good? Did you guys ever have a water day growing up? For those of you who didn't, water day usually happened in the summer. Everyone wore swimsuits and, well, now that I'm older, I realize it was really just an excuse for the adults to turn on the hoses and say, have at it. Of course, Carrie Fisher's mother was Debbie Reynolds and she starred in many Hollywood blockbusters, but never Annie Get Your Gun. Sorry, water gun. Question six. The highest above ground waterfall in the world is located on what continent? South America, Europe, Africa. What continent? South America, Europe, Africa. Which continent are we looking for here? Notice I did say above ground, which may seem a little silly, but technically the largest waterfall in the world is underwater. It's the Denmark Strait Cataract, and it's caused by warmer surface water crashing into the shores of Greenland, then cooling and falling 3,500 meters to the seafloor. Of course, above ground waterfall reminds me of above ground pool, which is definitely just a nice way of calling out a kiddie pool that got a little too big. I like my pools and my decision making the same way, grounded. And as for waterfalls, the bigger the better, baby. The biggest in the world is Angel Falls in Venezuela. Vamanos! Question seven. Which of the following is not one of the seven deadly sins? Sloth, hypocrisy, gluttony. Which of the following is not one of the seven deadly sins? Sloth, hypocrisy, gluttony. Seven deadly sins, not to be confused with the seven dwarves. You know, the ones that took in Snow White in her hour of need. Yeah, those guys. Sleepy, dopey, grumpy, sneezy, bashful, happy, and Doc. You know who I think named all the dwarves? Doc, 
of course. Who else would give themselves not even a name, but a title and be like, yo, what's your biggest insecurity? Um, I guess I'm always falling asleep at inappropriate times. Haha, <laughs> you're sleepy. Next. Kind of a jerk move on Doc's part, if you ask me. And also a jerk move. Um, committing lust, pride, envy, anger, greed, wrath, and sloth. Look, I say we just consolidate them all down to one. Murder. Q8. Signed in 1494, the Treaty of Tordesillas included nations with all of the falling present day capitals except Madrid, Brasilia, Lisbon. Signed in 1494, the Treaty of Tordesillas included nations with all of the following present day capitals except Madrid, Brasilia, Lisbon. Treaty is one of those words that sounds like it should be something a lot more fun than what it actually is. Wait, so we're not getting brownie bites and cupcakes? Oh, oh, we're just here to end a war between two nations. But you said treaty. Whatever, man, this is lame. Tell friends they can do whatever they want. I'm going to my room. When in doubt, make muffins at war, right? But this treaty didn't end a war, it actually prevented it. It created an imaginary line north to south, yeah, just like you used to do with your little brother when you shared a room, and everything to the west went to Spain. Everything to the right went to Portugal. And although it created what would demarcate the future border of Brazil, Brazil wasn't really a thing yet. Spain, back on your side. Question nine. The candy bar made of peanuts, caramel, and milk chocolate flavored nougat shares a name with what celebrity's given name? George Herman Ruth, Frederick Austerlitz, Francis Ethel Gum. This candy shares a name with what celebrity's given name? George Herman Ruth, Frederick Austerlitz, Francis Ethel Gum. Candy bars are named after all different kinds of things. Milky Way, well that's named after a galaxy. Payday, that one's named after the best day of the week. Reese's, those are named after the most genius man who ever lived, of course. It took a really evolved mind to put a mound of peanut butter ever so deliciously into a beautiful envelope of chocolate. Now that is the work of a genius right there. But the candy made with peanuts, caramel, and milk chocolate favored nougat, nugget, was potentially named for Mr. George Herman Ruth, AKA Babe Ruth. Even though the company claimed somewhat haphazardly, the candy bar had been named after Grover Cleveland's daughter. It's time for the final question. Question 10. The animal specimen originally known as 6LL3 was later named after what type of pop culture icon? Athlete, musician, comedian. Animal specimen, originally known as 6LL3, was later named after what type of pop culture icon? Athlete, musician, comedian. 6LL3 is actually what my parents wanted to name me, but then my cousin was born, and guess what her parents named her? Yup, 6LL3. This is why you never share the baby name ahead of time, because uncreative family is just gonna steal it and then you're out of luck. You can't have more than one of the same name in the family. Thanksgivings would be unbearable. Anyway, I'm happy that they settled on Sarah because as I've said before, Sarah means princess. And 6LL3, well that's a copycat name. Or should I say a copy sheep name? Because that was the name of Dolly, the sheep who was the first animal to be cloned. Named for none other than music legend, Dolly Parton. She's not the only legend in this game tonight. Look at all of you, you legends. You crushed the darn thing. Which names, I don't know, I'm gonna name something after each one of you. Maybe um, my beauty marks, I got a lot of them. Yeah, this one uh, will be the Owl Queen, and this one's gonna be Jenny Girl, and uh, this one on my shoulder, that'll be Mark Foot, and uh, I don't know, this one will be China Thug, and this one will be Who Dat Nation. And you wanna know why those names come to mind? Because they have been tuning into my pre-show every single night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, we hang out, we look at content together, we talk about display tri tips, and we give away trivia answers. So join me tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a beauty mark named after you. And make sure those profiles are set up so that you can claim your winnings, all right? I'll see you then, everyone. Bye.